Pennsylvania, I-90 West. So getting back to the check engine light, and I was, I, and I was, as I was stating before, this truck is like my girlfriend, one of my many girlfriends in life. You really adore. Really cool. There's something that always goes wrong. So you want to break up. You're always thinking about the good times and the good stuff until it happens again and again and again. Finally, at some point, you finally say, "Enough's enough." Well, I ain't at that point yet with my computer bill. I'm sure I'm getting close. The truck runs beautifully, like you, know, you would not know that there's a check engine light on. You would not know. Now apparently it's an aftermarket fuel pressure thingamajig. That's what Road Assist told me. And they basically told me to roll with it unless I get the second check engine light on. If you get the red one, no good done. So I've gone about 170 miles since the check engine light came on. And keep my fingers crossed. I can get it to where I need it to get it to tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. 0600. And then skedaddle back down to Pittston. And then drop it off back at Peterbilt. Hunter Peterbilt. So I'm going home anyway, so but this truck needs to be fixed. And I don't buy it that it's gelled up. And I had a 27, 28. It was 30 degrees back there for about an hour. And the amount of anti-gel I put in here is no way. Apparently, there's another faulty sensor. But it's like, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired of talking about it. It's like every other week, there's a check engine light that goes on. It's been going on since November. They fix it, they get the truck back. Two weeks later, check engine light goes on. Get it back, fix it. Two weeks later, check engine light goes on. Same thing. Two weeks later, this has been the second week after coming out at Springfield. No check engine light. Analogy I can make regarding this truck. 
ride this morning. Absolutely breathtaking. So I decided to uh, shut it down with four hours left of my clock last night. Um, for, because I, hey, I found this spot. And when you find this spot, you know, it's snow belt. Especially after it snowed just a few hours before, you kind of want to utilize that opportunity to do your reset. So by taking a chance and run into a TA or a Petro or a pilot loves, there's a good chance that there's no parking. When I stopped for fuel this morning, trucks were everywhere. So I made the right decision, A, and B, when I was looking at the weather last night, as I always do, and if you don't, as a truck driver, you should get into the habit of it, especially in winter. The way I'm coming on I-90, it was still having lake effect snow last night, as well as the winds are whipping at about 20, 25, sustained gusts over 40. I've only got 9,000 I've only got 9,000 in the box. So it's a light, light load. So, as a professional truck driver, I made the right choice in hindsight. So now it's calm. The winds are barely blown at 8 miles an hour. The snow has ceased. And I've got a clean ride all the way from here to... Uh, as, as far as today's concerned, all the way to the 90. But obviously, I ain't going to make it that far. I'm going to probably uh, get it down to the Loves over there in New York by the border of Massachusetts. It's like B3, exit B3. And if that's packed up, there's a big truck stop next door. It's kind of old, but it's got a lot of room. And from there, I'll be like 20 miles from the 90. But to get there, I still got to do another 400 miles. And I've got 4 hours and 48 minutes. Plus, I'll get some time back after I do a half. That's what we're shooting for. So with that being said, thanks for stopping by Big H Trucking. Hopefully you're enjoying the ride as much as I am. Thanks to all my subscribers. Please like and subscribe moving forward. Anybody that's new. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Make good decisions. And that's it. That's all I've got. snowstorm in the northeast on I think Thursday, Friday-ish. And this time it could be more, it could be snow for the coast. So I think I'm going to be driving into uh, no snow because I believe that part of Massachusetts got the rain. So
carry extra gallons of windshield wipers.
Loving them Jake legs, boy.